Hello everybody, you're watching another episode of Yoked. I'm Steve. And I'm Paul. On today's episode, Motiga has announced a new MOBA that will offer cross-platform gameplay. It's called Gigantic. And Asus talks a little bit more about their GR8 Steam Machine. Excellent. Don't touch that dial. Not that you have a dial on your YouTube interface, but it's time for Yoked. Intel has announced a new Broadwell-based SOC. Building on the Xeon D brand, these chips are designed to... Ah, ah, guys, guys, hold on. Stay with me. Stay with me. Don't go to sleep. I know server chips aren't quite as sexy as their overclockable desktop counterparts, but these feature both DDR3L and DDR4 memory controllers, showing that Intel is moving forward or toward DDR4. Even more. Kind of rhymes. Anyway, it may be a baby step, but that's how these things happen. We're working towards a world where DDR4 is actually affordable, remember? In addition to the memory controllers, the chip combines up to eight cores and a full-featured PCH onto a single die based on the 14 nanometer manufacturing process. Xeons do power a huge portion of the servers out in the wild. They're like a good editor. You might not notice the work that they do, and that's okay, but in reality, there's a 100% chance that you're making use of a server-grade processor right now. Back at Computex, Asus has an entire slew of new and exciting consumer electronic devices, one of which was the sporty little steam machine called the Great. Oh, sorry, that's the GR8. Asus announced the availability of the GR8S just days after the new Shield announcement from NVIDIA. Planning to pack the little steam machine with the latest i7 or i5 processor, as well as a 900 series Maxwell GPU. Asus has also said that the GR8S will be in line with Valve's Steam Machine schedule. The system features Steam controller compatibility as well as a complement of external ports and display connections to make it a more living space friendly gaming and entertainment center. Which of the new Steam boxes are you most excited for? Or do you care at all? Let us know in the comments below. Last weekend, Steve went out to PAX East, challenging the gaming masses to awaken the builder within. This week, our combo team has put together a few super combo deals to get you started building. First up is this AMD FX6300 powered system featuring an MSI 970 motherboard, 8GB of HyperX Savage memory, a WD Blue 1TB hard drive, an OCZ Arc 120GB SSD, and the 1GB Zotac GTX 750. Power it with a Rosewell Glacier Series 500 watt power supply and keep it all looking good in this DIY PC Zonda case. If blue is more your style, then this Intel Core i5-4690K Haswell 3.5GHz quad-core build might be for you. Mount your components on the sexy MSI Z97 Crate Edition motherboard with matching HyperX Fury white 8GB memory, a WD Blue 1TB hard drive for your storage needs, and an MSI GeForce GTX 960 2GB graphics card are also included. Finish it off with a RAID Max Viper RX 700 watt power supply and the RAID Max Vampire case to show off the true nature of this beastly build. Windows 10 promises to unify all tech running Microsoft Wear, and the developers at Motiga have partnered with Microsoft to bring you the free to play Gigantic. Gigantic is a twist on the MOBA genre, and Nick over at Game Crate was able to get all the details for us in an interview with Motiga's senior vice president of publishing, David Reed, while he was at PAX East last weekend. Reed explained that Gigantic is special for more than just its gameplay. It will actually be co-op and cross-platform. That's right, that means you can play with your friends on Xbox Live, and then later play with your PC friends using the same account. That also means that if your Xbox friends want to join the game while you're on the PC, well, that's fine too. Now, this type of cross-platform gameplay isn't totally unique to the Windows 10 platform. After all, other PC slash console MOBAs have had similar features, but Gigantic will be one of the first games to make use of the cross-play on Windows 10 devices. Cross-play will be opt-in, so you won't find yourself matched with other, other players without your consent. Taking a look at the trailer, the game is colorful with a huge range of fantasy-based characters and weapons. The environment looks bright and also adds some geographical challenges to you, the fighting strategy. Look for Gigantic this fall after Windows 10 officially launches. Thinking about upgrading your GPU? NVIDIA would like to sweeten the deal with a free code for The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. 900 series cards are eligible for this promotion. Join Geralt of Rivia in this story-driven open-world RPG where you will hunt and slay beasts. Find Geralt's lost love and get ready for an invasion of massive scale. Current PC spec recommendations for the game include Intel Core i7-3770 or an AMD 8350, as well as 8GB of memory and an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 770 or an AMD Radeon R9-290. 
NVIDIA would like to help you get out of the 700 series and into the 900s if you're interested in The Witcher 3. Check out the link in the description below to get your GPU and pre-order code. And that just about wraps it up for our tech news stories for today, but I feel like this episode of Yoked has been missing something. Maybe, um... Shaq. That's right. Shaq. Actually, you're absolutely correct, Paul. Uh, Shaquille O'Neal will actually be joining us for a special event with Monster called Monster Madness here at our industry's very own New Egg Hybrid Center. And that'll be happening this Sunday from, it looks like, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, PDT. I can uh, verify the information that Steve is reading there is correct. I have it here, too. Fine, Paul. What? No. I think that pretty much wraps up this episode, then. I think it does, too. Thank you guys all for joining us, as always. And until next time, you've, you've just been, been yoked. yoked.